Here's Mr. Prince being saddled up. This guy is a 13 to 14 year old Perlino. I say 13 to 14 because when they get over 10, it gets a little bit harder for the vets. So we do have them aged by a vet and he said 13 to 14 based on the grooves in his teeth. He is 15 hands, he is grayed. This guy is as gentle as they come. He, I, I hesitate to just call him lazy because he will gate without you having to kick him half to death, but he'd really prefer not to. He'd prefer to walk all day or stand all day, uh, but he actually has a really nice gait when you ask him to do it. I would say this guy would be good for any level of rider, period, even if you're just getting started because he is just easy to deal with. So we're going to finish tacking him up and take him out and show him mounting at the pedestal and go from there. Here is Prince, our 13 to 14 year old gray gelding Perlino. I don't know if you're a fan of a Perlino or not. Usually you are, or you're absolutely not, but I want to show off these eyes because they're not blue. They're aqua green, both of them. And his body, when the sun shines, has a gold champagne tint to it. It is absolutely gorgeous. This guy came to us poor. We have been fattening him up, so we've actually owned him now about 90 days. And he is as gentle as they come on the ground. He's finally fat enough to tape, even though I still think he needs a few more groceries. He is really, really looking good now. He's got that beige mane and tail and the darker legs. He is one pretty boy if you like this color. And he is good for the kids, the whole family. So we're going to take him and to the obstacle course. Mr. Prince to the obstacle course. It's still so early in the day, and yet you can already see the, st the sun starting to set. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a fan of daylight savings time. I like my long, long, long days. I wish they'd just leave the time alone. The sky is maybe a half a gear above bomb proof. <laughs> That's about all I can say about it. His price is also $2,500. So if you're somebody looking for a confidence builder or just somebody who's looking for something that's a no-brainer, you can just enjoy the day and not worry about anything, for $2,500 you can buy that piece of security. And that first ER visit would cost you three times that if you buy one that gets you hurt. Something to think about. You can't ride looks or color, but you can ride a really good horse. So we're going to take him to the pavement and let you hear him gate. Extra video of Mr. Prince walking down the driveway. Give you a little history on Prince. Um, my younger sister, when she was probably about 13 or 14, she decided to start riding. And whatever she rode had to be completely bomb proof. Because the first time she tried to ride, she was given a pony horse that was as good as gold. But she laid down in the water and got on top of Nicole, and that ended her riding career. So Dad found her a Perlino named Prince that looked so much like this horse, it's not even funny. And the temperament was very similar, too. She would ride him in a parade, Indian style, and no reins. So this will probably be the hardest thing we do in this video because he just assumed walk. But let me tell you, he's got a nice gait when you get him in it. This guy will ride alone in a group, anywhere in the group. He just doesn't care. A bonus video of Mr. Prince being chased with the ATV and going back towards the barn. This could be a real double whammy for a lot of horses. I mean, I am right up on him. He could care less. On top of dogs and everything else that's running around and Here's a video of Prince crossing the creek with dogs in tow. Oh, Jerry's heading for the deep water. This guy's favorite speed is slow and easy. One thing about him, he's very cautious. You'll notice that as he takes each step, 
he's actually paying attention and thinking about where he's placing his feet. And I like that because this is one that's going to take good care of you on the trail, especially if you put a child on him. Or again, if you're just a confidence builder because we want to make sure we're not riding something that's stumbly and not paying attention and more worried about its surroundings and what it wants to do than keeping us safe. I've had a few of those. This guy, probably my favorite horse in the barn just because he's so rare and hard to find. And I'm not talking about his color either, even though that's not easy to find either. His temperament's almost impossible. All right, what you want to do on him? Because I know you can do about anything on him. When my younger sister had her print, <laughs> I give that a 10. When my younger sister had her prints, they would put him in the middle of the river, at Current River, and the kids would jump up on top of him, and then they'd jump into the water. So they just used him like a diving board, which was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> He's as broke as they come. Silly boy. Little bonus video of Prince walking back to the barn. He's walking by horses out in the pasture. It's getting close to feeding time. Wind's blowing. And he knows he's going to the barn. And you can just see how slow and easy that he is. This is one you don't have to hold the reins. Oh, she's on the phone, by the way. I can hear her talking. It's so dog proof, cell phone proof, no barn sour in him.